I'm Eric Connolly, your town supervisor, and this is part two of a two-part video series on the Balsam Lake Sewer Project. Specifically, it's an update on where we're at and how we move forward. So if you haven't seen part one, please go ahead and find that and take a listen. So let's back up a little bit and talk about the math regarding if the public forces a permissive referendum and the majority of those on the lake who are part of the system vote no, what does that math look like specifically? Take a look. A slight correction from part one of the video. We've actually spent $777,955.95 to date on preparation efforts for the lake sewer system. Now that money would have to be paid back by the folks on the system around the lake and in the watershed if a permissive referendum came back as a no vote. I asked our budget officer if she would produce an amortization table for our residents so they could see how much they would need to pay to satisfy this grant if the permissive referendum comes back as no. Notice she built in a $20,000 buffer to account for any unforeseen and legal fees that we believe we might endure. So $674.16 for two years would handle that debt that we would owe the state. And this is based on a 5% amortization interest rate. Keep in mind that we would most likely have to add a full-time staff member with benefits in order to handle a septic system inspection system that would have to be put into place, which does affect other areas in our budget and could potentially result in higher taxes. Okay, we're finally ready to talk about what happens if a permissive referendum happens and the voters come back in favor of accepting the $5 million grant that we need to make the sewer system happen. First off, folks in the district would be paying $907 per EDU for 30 years. What about the other expenses that folks with EDUs would incur? Connection costs. They would run anywhere from $2,500 to $10,000, depending on whether a grinder pump is required and the length of the connection. Most folks who live in Buell Heights would not be required to purchase a grinder pump. If you are required, those are going to run $3,734 per grinder pump, and that's with a 30% discount for a bulk purchase rate. With a little bit of good fortune, construction could begin as early as this summer, and it would take about two years to complete the entire project. Now, it will undoubtedly cause some traffic issues as construction is underway, but long term, it could have some dramatic effects on lake water quality. I spoke with Blue Niles from Saratoga County Stormwater for about an hour and a half just last week, and he wanted me to make sure everyone knew that it is definitely a long-term solution, that it, it will most likely take years for us to see the quality of the water improve and for us to eventually get off of that list on New York State that we're on. There are some provisions within the local law for folks who are going to struggle financially if this does move forward. Additionally, we will look hard for any grants to help people who just have a financial hardship due to the creation of the sewer district. Thanks for watching and I hope laying out all the facts of how we move forward and what happens if there's a permissive referendum and if the folks vote yes or if the residents vote no, what happens. I think it's just really important to get the facts out there for everybody so that everybody can make an informed decision moving forward and everybody knows where we're at. So if you have any additional questions about the lake sewer system, and you can feel free to give me a ring or send me an email and I'll definitely get back to you. And until then, be well.